One thing about us, if there's a discount, we gonna get it, okay? Hey Gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today, we are going to be doing a purse haul, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, this is going to be a collective haul of some of the more affordable luxury pieces that I've collected over the past month and a half to two months, I wanna say. With the exception of one, one of them I got from a little while back, but I figured it deserved to be in this video, so I brought her out to show the girls, okay? So y'all know uh, your girl's out here putting in work, stacking her coins up, and you know, little by little, I'm moving up in the world, okay? So I wanted to show some bags that I have been enjoying, um, and I figured, you know, y'all might y'all might enjoy it too, okay? But before we get started, before we jump into the video, are you subscribed? Ew, can y'all hear like my bad eye? It makes like the squeaky sound. Like, can you hear it? All right, I'm being weird. Let's just get started. <laughs> okay, so I apparently may or may not be obsessed with Kurt Geiger. So my first bag I purchased from him, um, I'm pretty sure I featured it a while ago and it's not even my typical purse type. But after I got my hands on it, I was like, wow, I, I really enjoy this bag. I really love the hardware that's on it. I feel like it's edgy, it stands out. It's it's me, okay? So since then, I've acquired a few more Kurt Geiger pieces, which I have been absolutely enjoying. One of which I, I got from Nordstrom Rack, baby. Okay, it's giving me discounted, and I love that for me. But most recently, I added these these babies to my collection ah i never thought i would be the sparkle girl the razzle dazzle girl like aside from new years aside from like formal events like i really was not the glitter and glam kind of girl but when i tell y'all i am obsessed with everything that shines now and i don't even know where this came from like when i tell you i would rock this on an average day with a t-shirt Okay, baby, listen, I love this bag. Oh my gosh. So I actually purchased this in store. I walked in and you know, I kind of just like casually like to browse around. I'm in Nordstrom. And then I saw the flash of light on my eye and I said, what is that? So I walked over and I'm just like, oh my God, like this bag is so beautiful. But I'm like, is it practical? Like how often am I, like where, where am I gonna wear this to? Where am I going to wear this to? But you guys know, I feel like I grew up prioritizing certain clothes, certain pieces for certain occasions. Like I had clothes that I wore only to church. I had clothes that I only wore for this, clothes that were only for school. And now that I'm older, I'm like, I'm spending my coin on all, all of this clothing why am I not wearing it? Like, why am I keeping these limitations on myself? Like, I'm not a child. And of course, those limitations were put on me because I was a child. One thing about a kid, they gonna mess up some good clothes, okay? So I get that. But as an adult, I've maintained that mindset for so long. And I'm just like, why am I doing this to myself? Like, who says I have to wear this to a formal event? Like, why can't I wear this to go to Target? Okay, wh why? And so I said, baby, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it and I love her so freaking much. Like, can we get into the detail? Ah, uh, do you not die? Are you not dying right now? Are you not? Okay, are you not? Baby, cause I died when I saw this and I said, sus, wrap her up for me, okay? Wrap it up. <laughs> Um, so I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this. I want to say it's like 165, 185 ish. Cause the bigger ones are like 260 or 285. So I feel like this was like one something. Baby, I said, I gotta take her home. I have to, I love her so freaking much. But then I was like, I can't take her and not take her cousin. I, I, I can't 
You can't foster one kid and not take the sibling, not take the cousin. Don't, you can't separate the family. You know, you just can't. You either take them all, you take none. Don't separate the family. So I had, I had to get her little sister. I had to. Um, now while I do love this one, I, I still, the, oh, listen, she is the fave, but I do love this, okay? It's a little on the smaller side. Personally, I don't care for smaller bags because I carry a lot of things. <laughs> um, I'm the person that has whatever you need in my purse. So bags like this, I'm like, mm, not my favorite, but as long as I can fit my phone, my wallet, my keys in it, I'll make it work. But I said, baby, look at this. Baby, somebody, somebody come look at this. <laughs> somebody come look at it. Like how, how do you see this in the store and walk away? I'm like, no, I pay good money for this. I'm, I'm going to wear this to Target. I'm gonna wear this to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna work to the gym, act up. <laughs> Let me put on the little orange uh, Fabletics set on. See if I'll wear this with me. <laughs> I'm tripping. But honestly, I just really enjoy Kurt Geiger bags. I love the emblem that he has on the front. I'm like, I don't know what it is about it, but it's just my vibe. But I really love that with these pieces, they match the color of the bag themselves. So while it's there and it adds that edginess, it doesn't stand out too much. It doesn't take away from the bling of the the bag it actually adds to it because it is a metallic shade it has gems on it y'all look at that bird okay caw -caw, caw -caw. okay it's giving chicken head look at the bird okay look like one of y'all cousins <laughs> look like one of y'all bird ass cuz okay let me stop there's no need for me to take it there too much to me man scale it back so oh i just want to show y'all one more time like look at the emblem on this y'all oh i love it i love it i love it i love it <clears throat> And of course, the theme of this is affordable luxury. So while you are investing in uh, pieces that are a little higher up, you yeah, know, I love my Marshalls, I love my Ross, I love my uh, TJ Maxx. I listen, I love anything cheap, okay? But you know, I don't mind dabbling in something a little, you know, a little up there. All right. So I've really been enjoying those. And then I purchased this other bag specifically because. Um, I was getting ready to go out and I had pulled one of my vintage thrifted bags and I was like, wow, like, I think it's to the point where I might need to retire her. And if I'm being honest, when I first got her, she was, you know, she was, so I was like, wow, I might need to retire her. And while this is nowhere near that bag, it reminded me of it because of the jewels on it. So another Kurt Geiger bag. I'm like, Jamie, at this point, you have a problem. But that's how I am, and I've realized that about myself. And that's why I take my time before dipping into certain tax brackets. Because I know once I start, I don't stop. And so until I'm ready to not stop, I'm going to chill. Okay? But I like that I have found options that are in my bracket, that's in my lane for now. Because we don't know about tomorrow. Okay? Because one thing about today, today's price is not tomorrow's price, baby. Price one up period but for today and what i can do today i love that i can get these quality beautiful pieces that match my aesthetic and also match my bank account baby because i appreciate that okay yes and so i'll insert um some b-roll footage of what the other bag looks like and why this reminded me of it and while it's not the same vibe at all um i just really like that it reminded me of that and i was like wow look at you reminding me of my baby <laughs> And I was like, you know, this is cute. I love that it's leather. This is a more structured bag. A lot of his bags are more on the fabric softy vibe, which is why I'm like, I'm very surprised I love it so much because y'all know I love a structured bag. So this is definitely more on the structure side. It has the same um, emblem that pretty much on a lot of his bags, which I love. And then it has like the little jewels on there. And you know, at first glance, you might say the jewels are childish. I don't know. And honestly, they're not even... And I'm in straight. Hmm. I don't know, child, but I love it. <laughs> That's all I know is I love it. I love that I can pair this like a simple, like I can wear like a black top, black bottoms, black shoes, keep it real simple, but then throw this bag with it with a cute lip and automatically the look is elevated. 
automatically I look like I put in more effort than I really did all because my accessories. One thing about me, yeah, I'm gonna accessorize to death, okay? Them ex that accessories, them accessories will elevate any look, baby, and take it from here to here, okay? And I love that, okay? Period, love to see it. Thank you, Kurt, I love you so much, Kurt. I love you, I love you. Now for this next bag, I actually purchased this a little while back, but I was like, you know what? When I purchased this bag, this is exactly the mind frame I was in. So I said I have to feature it because one, it was very well constructed. Two, it's beautiful. And three, it's literally the epitome of this topic. So baby, one thing about Tori, one thing about Tori Birch, they gonna get you right, okay? When I saw this bag, I was like, oh, Oh, this is the one. Like they've had some cute pieces in the past. I'm like, okay, that's cute. I see what you're doing there, that's cute. But I said, no, that one right there, that bag right there, the girl is mine. <laughs> the girl is mine. Okay, period. Structured bag, but it does have some of that like soft cushiony um, padding right here in the front, but in this like diamond, Oh my God, this diamond design. Do y'all see like, sorry, not me hiding my nails. Y'all didn't get my nails done. <laughs> not me, like, y'all look at the, oh, with the emblem like loud and proud in the top, but still like not super obvious, not super hot. Um, and I just love it and it goes all the way around. Oh, I love her, I love her, I love her, okay? Magnetic pocket in the back. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the actual details of the purse. Wow. What kind of review is that? Well, it's not really a review. It's more like a show and tell. Um, but yes, I absolutely love this. And it has like the uh, black, I don't know. I actually don't know what material this is. Like, is it like leather or leather? Is it a particular kind of leather? I'm not sure. But whatever leather this is, it's intertwined into the gold chain, which I feel like is a beautiful detail. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, I love that you can rock it like this on the arm, or you can just rock it on the shoulder. Oh, I love a shoulder bag, I really do. And it has this tassel situation here, a little bang a ning a ning ning bang a ning a ning ning a ning a ning 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 a ning a ning. Okay, period. Um, and I just overall just love this bag. It just screams classy and chic to me. And I love the size. This is the perfect dinner bag. I could probably fit my flats in here. Okay, one thing about me, I'm always have some flats. <laughs> A beautiful amount of space on the inside. Ugh. And you know, personally, I'm not really into dividers. Like I see the appeal and I know it helps with organization, but just give me the space, baby. Give me the space. Um, there's no dividers obstructing anything. It does have a uh, two side slits here as well as a back zippered pouch oh my god it's that's so nice it says toy birch on the inside i don't know if y'all can see like right there child but oh my gosh like this bag is so nice i really enjoy it i just want to say i've noticed all the cheaper bags i purchased all have feet they all have little metal things at the bottom of the bag to help keep the bottom protected but all the more expensive bags that I've looked at that I've purchased, um, they don't. So I'm like really curious as to like, what's up with that? Like you would think as a more expensive bag, you would be more um, focused on protecting the integrity of the, the, the material. Like I feel like I can't even, like I would have to sit like this all day. Like I can't even set it on the table. I always wondered about that. So if you guys know why brands do that, like do they not want to mess up the metals? But I mean, y'all mess it up on the top. Y'all put stuff in the top. So why can't you put nothing on the bottom? That's always been a little weird to me. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why this is a topic of conversation right now. But okay. All right. Moving on. So really quickly, since I didn't show you the interior, um, it just has a simple opening. Ooh, it does have um, a pattern on the inside lining. Just super cute. Oh, it says Geiger. Oh, that's cute. I like that. It just says Geiger. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it has a little pocket right here. But yeah, very simple. And I know the orange one is the same. Let me see if the bejeweled one is the same as well. Yeah, pretty much the same with this. 
and it has two pockets in the back a little mini one right here and a bigger one right here but yeah beautiful bag i'm like now that i did this video i can finally wear them now <laughs> well i've been wearing them i just haven't worn this one and the last two i'm gonna show you now the last two i especially love because i feel like i hit the jackpot when i discovered them so um i don't know if you guys follow hilo lux she is beautiful beautiful woman um she does oh, what's her tagline oh uh we're uh, luxury something is attainable child basically she bring you all the goods and she drops the tea and i love it and i just love to just look at her and just uh i don't know she just gives me good vibes so um she partnered with a brand called Myrta, Myrta. I'm actually not sure exactly, but I absolutely love that she did that because she put me onto them. And when I tell you, I'm obs I'm obsessed. Isn't that TikTok? Like I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, and I really am because, baby, listen. When I tell you, okay, so the the purpose of this brand, are you sponsored? No. The purpose of this brand is to basically globalize a bunch of like smaller niche artisans and um, ciao, do you even know what they do? So, and this is from their website. It says that it's luxury made by people, not brands. Um, so basically when you purchase on the website, you're purchasing from a series of different local brands and by local, I mean the ones in Italy um, and they're handcrafting these, these bags for you. Um, and because they're selling their products via Myrta, Myrta? Um, they're able to globalize their company without the company itself being a big global company, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like, in my mind, I, it's like Myrta is a third party vendor. So they're the company that then takes um, the work of these other companies and they, they put it on their website so that people can shop in one place for all of them. So when you're on their website, you see pieces from a plethora of different brands and it's honestly an amazing shopping experience because you are really getting like affordable quality quality bags okay at a reasonable price like you don't have that huge brand markup you don't have that overpriced name markup but you still get the quality of the bag and i just feel like the work that they're doing honestly like it's so great because not only are these smaller artisans like getting the recognition that they deserve for their pieces but it's also more affordable for people like me who's just trying to come up and just i just want some nice things okay i just want some nice things but i don't really have nice things coin all the time so i appreciate when they can find a middle ground for the two now that being said i was like mm. Let me just dip my toe in the water a little bit. Uh, after I saw my sis do her video, I said, first of all, I want to support my sis, <laughs> number one. So I said, let me go ahead and purchase a bag. So she featured this one bag, which was absolutely stunning. It was like this nice circular, oh my God, beautiful piece. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. I actually first saw it on Instagram and then I later went on her channel and she did like a video and all that stuff. But I was like, wow, like it's a statement piece and it's the first thing you see in her outfit, like beautiful piece and can you imagine like that's handcrafted like somebody took their time to make that bag oh beautiful experience but yeah so i went on the website and i actually ordered three bags um but unfortunately one of the vendors um did not have the material for one of the bags i ordered and i didn't really want the other color um can you guys believe it it was a pink bag oh <laughs> it was a pink bag okay like at this point i need to stop saying can you believe it because at this point everybody knows i'm i'm team pink now <laughs> but yeah so they sent me these beautiful bags and because these are like handcrafted by people you don't just order the bag and it comes tomorrow like it takes a little time for them to uh you know make the bag and send it to you so i was on average just, as from what I've seen, it's about four to six weeks um, before you before you get the bag. Oh, I might be wrong, but I believe that's what it is. But I purchased, y'all, can y'all tell I have a type? I didn't even realize how bad it was until I was looking at my purchase. I was like, Jamima, you really just bought the same bags. <laughs> but I absolutely love these. And I feel like for somebody who's just starting to build her collection of quality bags, um, I want to focus on pieces where I know I'll get a lot of use out of them and then I'll add 
like more fun pieces like this, you know, to my collection. But one thing about me, I, I, I said I wanted a nice calf skin black bag because that's the color I wear the most. Like that's what I'm going to wear the most. And so here she is, y'all, calf skin. Like, I'm sorry, nobody, don't nobody call PETA, please. But like, I'm like me buying calf skin for under a thousand? How much did I pay? Let me get the stats for y'all, cause like, child, what? Yeah, so this bag right here was $751. This is called the Kelly Big Pitch, um, made by the brand Missouri. Oh, the brand Missouri, the person, the, um, the artist in Missouri, I don't know, sus, but I just know, made by the brand Missouri. Um, $751. I did get it on sale though, because I did use Janae's uh, Hilo Lux's coupon code. I gotta support the sus, okay? Um, wow, so I got this for $751. Calf skin, like, are y'all hearing that? Calf skin? Do y'all know how much you could, this bag would go for under um, any other company? Easily like two grand. Easily, easily two grand, $751. Okay, um, now I got her little sister, cause I, what, what did I say? You can't leave the siblings behind, you can't leave the cousins behind. I had to get her little sus, okay? I had to get little sus and I got her for $739. So this is a small, um, the Kelly Small Cream and that's the Kelly Big Pitch Black. Um, $739 and $751, calf skin. Ooh, okay. Um, a structured bag, nice classy bag, and I love it because I could dress it down for sure and I could definitely dress it up, baby. A nice, uh, it has an interesting handle, like it's like a snap closure, but you can really tailor it to whatever you want it to like, whatever length you want. And I just feel like it's so interesting. I feel like that's so interesting. Oh my God. Like you can play around with it, make it shorter, make it longer. Like I love the versatility, okay? But most importantly, I love the price and the quality I get for the price. Like, yo, I can say I have bags made in Italy and I spent less than a grand for it. Like, it's so pretty. And I know she's like plain Jane and, uh, but I really do love like a classic bag, ooh. I just feel like these are absolute staples in my collection and then I can add some other stuff later. I can add the blues and the reds, all that later. But for now, I said that black and that cream, baby, you coming home with me. You coming home with me. Um, so yeah, y'all, I just, uh, I'm just so happy with these purchases. And it was about time I filmed this video because sometimes I feel like I don't want to wear stuff. I don't want to like, I don't wait till I film first before I really start wearing them. So I'm glad that I finally did this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure if her coupon code is still active, but if it is, I'll 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 link it below because baby, one thing about us, we're gonna save a coin. One thing about us, if there's a discount, we gonna get it, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and that's it for today, y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Toodles. Oh,